Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs. Today we're going to take a look at Photoshop layer styles and specifically a, the stroke effect. But before we get started, um, I'd just like to show you this is the set of styles that we'll be working with. These are my Painted Autumn styles and they are the styles that I used on the Painted Autumn word strips. We are going to use them on the Painted Autumn quotes though today. So what is a layer style? Well, Adobe defines a layer style as a layer style is one or more effects applied to a layer or a layer group. You can apply any of the preset styles provided with Photoshop or create a custom style using the layer style, layer style dialog box. Typically, layer styles are used for text effects, but they can be used on images, backgrounds, and any other layer as well we're going to use this layer style on a text today. So let's go ahead and get started with that. This is a background paper from Painted Autumn and this is one of the word art pieces from the uh, kit or from the um, word art pack. What I, I had some other things up here and I think I'm just going to delete those just so they're not confusing. So let's go ahead and rasterize this word art. And you see right here, I already have the styles in, um, installed. So let's just go ahead and click on this one right here. And this tutorial is specifically going to show you how to adjust the um, stroke right here. So once you've applied a style, if you click to the right, double click to the right of the stroke. Let me try that again. <laughs> I didn't click hard enough. The layer style box will open. And here you will find that the stroke is highlighted in gray, and that means that all of the options for the stroke will be visible on your right hand side. If you by chance hit the inner shadow or another layer and the layer style box opens and you see that stroke isn't in dark gray, all you have to do is just click on it to change it and then the stroke options will become available. So the options available for the stroke are the size of the stroke, the position of the stroke, the blend mode, the opacity, the fill type, and the color if you have color selected. So I'm going to go through these backwards just very quickly. This is the color. If you want to change the color, just click on that and the color picker will open and we'll come back to that in just a minute. Fill type I have at set as color. If you click on the down pointing arrow, you can change it to gradient or pattern. For this tutorial, we're going to leave it at color. The opacity you can experiment with if you like. I'm going to leave it at 100%. The blend mode also you can change if you like. And again, I'm going to leave it at normal for this tutorial. Position is outside, inside, or center. If it's outside, that means the stroke is going to go on the outside of the text. Inside, it will be on the inside of the text. And because this text is thin, obviously a seven pixel stroke is going to cover up most of the text. And you could also put it on the center, and that means half of the stroke is on the inside and half is on the outside. For this particular um, word art, I want it on the outside so I have the full view of the word art itself or the text itself. And then um, this tutorial is going to be focusing on the uh, stroke, specifically the size. So I just want to show you that you can adjust that very easily by dragging it up if you want it to be um, completely filled so there's no space in between. You just drag it as far as you like or you can drag it down as little as you like also. For this particular quote, I really liked it at seven. So let's leave it there. Now, if you had uh, this quote on a white paper, this uh, stroke wouldn't be visible and so that's when you might want to go ahead and change your color. So again, to do that, just click on the color box and just use your color picker to choose whatever color you want. You can come over to the paper and just grab a color from the paper itself. I don't particularly like that, but I want to show you that you can just choose a color from the paper. And sometimes that will work really well for you, depending on the paper that you have um, chosen. Um, something with Photoshop, let's go back to this yellowish color. 
Something with Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud is that you can add <clears throat> a second stroke and you do that by clicking the Add button here and it duplicates what you've already done. So if I turn that off you can see that this is 7 pixels and if I turn this on you can see it's 7 pixels. So we, let's go ahead and change the top one and I'm going to change that to white and if I bring down the stroke then we're going to be able to see the white stroke on top and that greenish stroke underneath. And that is pretty cool too to be able to get those extra effects. So that's all there is to it. I wanted to show you how versatile the styles can be and how to adjust the uh, effects of the stroke specifically if you want to do that. I'm going to be focusing on um, stroke on styles in the month of September. So we will cover some of these other options over the next few weeks. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope, hope you found this helpful. And I'm sorry for my raspy voice today. Bye-bye. <laughs>